<laughs> and you got Rocky and Shaviva, right? I do. We don't see yeah. no viewers. We don't we see don't. any viewers. <laughs> Let me double check Rocky and Shaviva real quick. Technical difficulties, you guys. So we will be with you in just a moment. Thank you, Ed, for checking that out, though. We should make you an administrator or whatever <laughs> on our page, so you just gotta weigh in. Okay, so okay, all right. We're all right, live, on, live both? on both. Of them. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to boom back a lot again. We're gonna put her. know what time it is again. <laughs> All right. Boom, Boom shakalaka. All right. Okay. <laughs> for oh. those of you that are waiting for us, here we are back again. That's right. Sounds so nice. We had to say it twice. <laughs> and you all arrived at the studio early. How ironic uh, is that? Uh, yo, you <laughs> beat us. And some were late, but we won't say who. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Miss Rocky and Shaviva Live because there's always something good happening on the North End and everywhere else. Yes, and um, we have wonderful guests here with us today. Um, as you can see, things are kind of loosening up just a little bit so that we are able to sit together like right. so. And we are fortunate to have Kent Shankel from Waterloo Center from the Arts and Dr. Nafisa mm -hmm. Ciseboni from the um, Black Hawk Department of Health. Mm -hmm. Yes, welcome both of you. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Thank here. you. Yes, we're going to be able to get into your worlds in just a few moments, and we're going to um, ask you guys some, we want you to interact on a couple of things that we have to talk about today. And we have Ed to read comments, so please feel free to join right in our conversation if you'd like to ask one of these special people anything. Happy Pride Month. We'll start out with that. How about that, Jerry? There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, we want you to be happy all the time, but especially now because it's Pride Month and be happy about who you are, whoever you are. All right. Okay. We go ahead. Special thank you to um, India Johnson, Lori Dale, and Mayor Hart for their Boom Shakalaka takeover a couple of weeks ago. Um, great job. It was a good show. I really enjoyed it. But hey, don't get too comfortable in our spot. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was. And um, we know that there's always something good happening on the North End. You know this. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And we got some great stuff. Our kids are getting married. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes. We'll yes. start out with that. Travis, And well, actually, yours are first. So why don't you tell everybody who's getting married in your family? Yes, in a couple of weeks. Uh, my son Robbie Carter and his fiance Courtney Jordan will be getting married, so I'll have a new daughter in law. Mm. Yes, so. congratulations. congratulations! Yes, thank you. And you guys got a ways to go. I know Naomi's <laughs> not old enough yet. Oh, she's planning her wedding. Oh, my goodness, oh. you too. I'm not not until next June. I've got about oh, another year wow. to get. Wow. I, I've got another year to pay the bills. But. Okay, <laughs> oh, all wonderful. right, and we know yours are yes. a little bit. Small. But we're planning a birthday Saturday. Oh, all right. Birthday. Well, that's yes. something good yes. happening. Yeah. All right. Your well, son or your daughter? My daughter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, birthdays yes, are will be three. Oh, is she having, oh, a, well, since COVID, are, is we, our restrictions are lifted, is yes. she going to have a little party? Or? Just a little party with the same cohort of people she's been with for since a year and a half. Okay, yeah. well, great. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll enjoy all that, especially yes. the cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and congratulations to Travis, my son, Travis Ferguson, and Katie Macht, mm -hmm. Catherine Macht, who are going to get married. They just put their... Um, their engagement their photos. Their engagement yeah. photos in, on Facebook uh, today. So congratulations to them. I'm so looking forward to the wedding mm -hmm. and um, a new life with uh, my new family mm -hmm. so it's always exciting when you have a wedding so we got some more good stuff mm -hmm. yes we absolutely do for the second year um, Purvis Williams has put on the adopt a senior program to uh, help highlight the graduating seniors and give them something special to uh, look forward to with gifts cards these sort of things just to acknowledge them and it was a movement that was born out of 
us being shut down with COVID mm -hmm. and stuff, and that really has taken on a fantastic life. So just wanted to shout him out for the great work that he's doing on behalf of our seniors, mm -hmm. That's our right. high school seniors. Yeah. Have you seen those posts, Adopt a yes. Senior? Yes. Yes, I saw him walking through all the gifts and ready to pass them out. I think it was last week or maybe earlier this week. Also, Chiquita Loveless has stepped up as the Interim Director of yes. Diversity, Inclusion, and Social Justice at UNI. Yes. So we got to wish her well. So yes. congratulations to Chiquita, and you've got a true leader there at UNI. Mm -hmm. And, Kent, this is about the the Phelps Youth Pavilion. Yeah, and finally. Finally. Yes. After over a year, we yes. have been able to reopen, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're really excited to have children back in yes. the building. Um, we're trying to do it safely, so uh, it, things are a little bit different than they were. We've got um, two shifts per day with limited admission, so mm -hmm. people can either come between 10 and 12, mm -hmm. or they can come between 2 and 4, mm -hmm. and we'll close in between so that we can sanitize everything and change out all the, 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 the toys and, and, and all the, the activities and so forth. And I bet people have really been looking forward to that. Yes. They have been. They've been asking for a long time. So yeah. well, we're happy good. to finally be at a point where we can uh, have them back again. That's yeah. right. And also, we got to shout out to my guy, Rodney Bass Berry. That's he's right. got a barbecue truck, and he's been, he was at AutoZone, I think, mm -hmm. yesterday. Yep. So look First for him. Base barbecue. Look for them. Mm -hmm. First Base, yeah. yes, because they got the good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. We got to talk about Waterloo Proud History. Now, this is something you may not have known about mm -hmm. Waterloo. We got some real superstars that came right out of here. Oh, yes. that I know. That I know. <laughs> okay. Shaviva. Yes, we've got a, a question. Yes, and that, you get to win. Yes, if you answer this question, be the first to um, chime in in the comments and give your answer, and you win an art print. Okay, by, by me. By Madam Shaviva. Okay, okay no, so the qu here's the question. <laughs> what woman from Waterloo was born on uh, October 17th, 1926, and became a famous TV actress and starred in the horror classic Creature from the Black Lagoon? <laughs> I don't think I, I want to be known for that. I know I'm that. dating myself talking about that movie, but hey. Right. It was pretty awesome. Creature from the Black Lagoon. She also starred with um, Elvis Presley and had a brief role in uh, Murder, She Wrote. Yes. So be sure to chime in with that answer. Yes, chime in and you can win a beautiful art print. And we want to thank you, Margot, for making us all look good by giving us those wonderful questions every single week. Margot, we love you. Mm -hmm. All right, so answer that question. What else do we have? Oh, the Black Hawk County um, Health yes. Board. What, who are health you? Department. Health, health Department. Health Department. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They want to let you know that you need to care for yourself. Yes. That's right. Yes. Can you tell us about what that program is about? Oh, um, so that, that program is, is our cancer prevention program. Um, and so we want to make sure that people um, continue to screen for mm -hmm. Um, for cancer such as um, breast and cervical cancer um, and and just yeah wellness you know one of the things um, we're finding out that the pandemic did was that um, really people didn't go and get their wellness um, visits because the hospitals were inundated so we mm -hmm. want to make sure that people go out and get screened right and yeah. there's some free screening I think was there yes. for um, if you want to know about the services you can also call 319-292-2225. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Yes. And, you know, we were just saying now that everybody's taking their masks off and stuff. How are you feeling? I just, this is just <laughs> not scripted or we didn't think yeah, about yeah, asking no, this. No. But we were just talking before you came here. I'm looking for that variant. Yeah. You know, that mutation. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think when I get in, in crowds, I'm still going to be wearing my mask. Because I don't want to be the first one to get something crazy. Absol you know? Absolutely. So we, we do recommend that even when you are fully vaccinated, if it's in large uh, crowds, to so still um, be, be careful and socially distance and wear a mask. Um, we, you know, we're, we're learning a lot about COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is... This uh, past year was an opportunity for people to actually witness how science works. And so it's, it's 
it's uncomfortable. It is. That's, it's the art of being patient, too. Right. Yep. We've yep. certainly learned that. Yep. yep. And also to not um, look at, I mean, you, there's, a, there's a comfort level with having the vaccination, but at the same time, um, it, it doesn't put an S on your chest and a cape on your back because, yeah. for example, if you um, um, take the flu vaccine, mm -hmm. that still doesn't mean that you can't catch the flu. Absolutely. You still have to take precautions and be careful. And so yes. that applies with with the coronavirus, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I think we have comment or an answer. We have a guest to the question. Okay. Amy Cass says, wasn't it Judy, Julie Adams from Waterloo? Yes. Wow. Whoa. All right. Amy. Amy. It's an art trick. Congratulations, yes. Amy. And yes, Julie Adams. <laughs> Agnes, did you have the answer up there the whole time? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, come on, Amy. No, but we love Amy. She's a, a frequent viewer and also uh, just a good friend. Yes. yes. Well, we were talking before the, the, earlier we were talking about how that movie, Creature from the Black Lagoon, yeah. uh, scared Shaviva when she was younger. <laughs> yeah. And then later seeing that movie, we kind of, it, yeah. it was a totally different experience. Right. It's like, oh, yeah. man, you can see the zipper on the back of the, oh, the, the costume. costume. The costume. Right. <laughs> Funny. You know, all those movies back then were, you know, really when you watch them now, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah. back then it had to be hiding under the covers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, you know, we can't go any farther without talking about, and I get to sing my song that everybody loves, the <laughs> Soul Town. <laughs> Yes, That's the right. Soul Town. Ooh, and we got a new one. Yes. Mm. Aw, shucks. Look the at it. The Soul Town. Yes. Yes. And it, um, as the cover says, it um, focuses on balancing energies. And that's probably perhaps something that we got to be a little bit more familiar with during this COVID time, too. Mm. You know, as far as making sure that you pay attention to more than one side, I guess being more holistic mm -hmm. about your approach to things. And so there's a very interesting article in this month's um, Soul Town. And um, as always, beautiful pictures, beautiful um, questions that are posed that people get a chance to respond to, um, you know, just the million dollar question Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then there's always Big Q and all the people that we know, Gabby. Yes. So get your copy of The Soul Town today at thesoultownmagazine.com. That's right. Or you can call Chillin' at 319-505-4020. All right. Now we got to give something a little bit of air. It's Pride Month. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our Give It Air segment, we put you on the spot one time. I felt really bad about oh, it. Oh, you did? <laughs> But you did great. Oh, okay. You did great. You okay. did great. But our, but then my son said, Mom, don't put guests on the spot yeah. like that anymore. So we're letting people chime in if they want to okay. anymore. We're mm -hmm. not going to just point a question at you. But today we want to talk about, since it's Pride Month, we want to talk about how language and words do matter. Mm -hmm. So um, just nowadays there are new um, pronouns mm -hmm. for uh, addressing people uh, from the LGBTQ TQA, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. There's more letters I right hear, but um, communities. So, um, like them, instead of call, people, some people are gender fluid, I mm -hmm. understand, or I identify as that. So, um, so, sometimes you can call them. I think they like to be called the pronouns them or they. Mm -hmm. So, um, just certain things that are, are, are coming into our consciousness that we weren't aware of, maybe. A f even a few years ago, as far as how people want to be addressed with their pronouns, um, terminologies that might sound way different to you, like non-binary. Mm -hmm. um, mm. um, my granddaughter has been very good about explaining these things to me. And so it, to me, it just uh, expands your, your knowledge base mm -hmm. because we all, you know, we all live in this world together and um, just, you know, an effort to understand one another better. Right. 
certainly this is something that's been in the in the news a lot frequently and um, probably most people will have noticed um, as people sign off on their emails very often they will include yes. their pronouns now mm. and um, I was sharing before I I had to kind of do a little research and and into this because uh, my sisters one of my sister's children um, has identified as non-binary mm -hmm. and um, so um, I'm thinking, okay, I know the term niece and I know the term nephew, but what is the term for uh, a, a non-binary uh, child of a sibling? So mm -hmm. I had to, thank goodness for Google, I looked it up <laughs> right. and, and now I know that the correct term yeah. is nibbling mm -hmm. and I'll share that knowledge yes. with everyone okay. on the show. Wow. wow. Pretty interesting. So I have a wonderful nibbling that I'm very yeah. proud of. That's right. right. That's right. Wow. So we want to come familiar, become familiar with these terms and use them, you know, out of respect for however a person identifies themselves with. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yes. Feel free to comment. And I, we got Ed. He's going to keep up with all that and, and all the cameras and everything else that he does. Mm -hmm. All right. News flash. Birthday people. Dr. Nafisa can same. Oh, Did no. you know that? She's oh, going to no. have her solo. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's going to have a solo. not one of my gifts. Well, we got a solo. You, If you would have been here earlier, we would have told you that. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you I, said you weren't going to put people on the spot. Oh, like, yeah. I would have ducked. ducked. I just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Ken, I know you can harmonize a little. No one's ever accused me of that. Okay, so. well, <laughs> anyway, folks, birthday people, we be ready because we got a lot of birthday people because we've been gone for a while. Mm -hmm. We're going to catch up with all the birthday people, so we hope you're watching. Ed, do we have any comments? We do have a comment, I guess. So, uh, Amy Cass wants to have a big thank you to the Blackhawk County Health Department for stepping up and oh. continuing to provide sound information and advice to the population of the Blackhawk County. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, indeed. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. We want to come there on location sometime and yes. just come and hang out and find out where your office Absolutely. Does. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Great. All right. Sounds yes. like fun. Yes. yes. I think if you take the steps, you'll be really fit by yeah. the time you get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are are you? on the fifth floor. Oh, you are. But we are on multiple floors, so mm -hmm. yeah, but absolutely. All right. Well, we got a shout out to our friends, our partners in education at Royal Legacy Christian Academy. And today is Friday. They have High Five Fridays. And this is a nonprofit school that has a dual language. Um, they have Spanish immersion, pro immersion um, classes for your children. And right now, they are looking for help, Shaviva. Yes, they are. Um, uh, Royal Legacy has two job openings. They're looking for a daycare director and an assistant teacher. So anyone that might be interested in either of those positions should call 319-595-1097. Right. And if you want to give $5 or more, give more. <laughs> Go to dollar sign, their cash app is dollar sign RLCA Waterloo, or you can PayPal them at RLCA Waterloo.org backslash support. Do it today, like right now. All right, shout out to our wonderful crew, Ed and Agnes. Yes, yay! Yay! All right, they rock, and it's so good to be back in the studio with that great graphic for a background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All yes. right, well, I think we got to talk to our guests, Shaviva. You guys have been sitting here listening to us jabber, so let's find out, ladies first, always. Tell us what, what have you been up to, what would you like us to know today, and our viewers? Well, we've been up to vaccinations, uh -huh. right? Mm. I mean, it's been, um, these past uh, few months has just been getting the community vaccinated. So that's what we've been um, doing. Shout out to our healthcare providers, mm -hmm. um, Unity Point, oh, yes. People's Community Clinic, Mercy One, and also pharmacies, um, Joe Greenwood and um, the Greenwood Pharmacy has done an exceptional job of just getting out there and vaccinating people. So very fortunate about that. So yeah, that's what we've been um, up to um, and, and just kind of slowing down a little bit, um, you know, and getting back to the things that um, also took a backseat to COVID. 
And so um, we're, we want to make sure that people are getting the necessary information about their wellness as well. Mental health is a big thing for us, you know, trying to figure out how to tackle mental health um, for the community. And even as an organization, um, the pandemic has done a number on um, just staff burnout uh, mm -hmm. and within the healthcare oh, sure. system. So just doing some morale boosting activities and wellness check with them. Um, ourselves and so um and making sure that everybody's getting the information they need i know right now it's like mask or no mask like mm -hmm. what's going on so that um kind of um just being in that stage is is, is um and, and uneasy for the community and so trying to help everybody navigate through this so yeah how how receptive has uh, the community been as far as the uh, vaccination? Because I've seen a presence in a number of places. Yes. Like um, I know personally, I went to the uh, clinic that they had mm -hmm. at um, People's, mm -hmm. and then they've also got uh, vans like yes. at events and stuff yes, like that. Absolutely. I thought that was really cool. So, yep. so how has that been? So so far, actually, I have the data right now. Um, Fifty-six percent of Black Hawk County um, residents, sixteen and over. Um, have received wow. their first dose, um, and about 86% of Black Hawk County residents 65 and older right. have received um, at least their fo first dose. So that's good, but we, mm -hmm. we really want to continue because um, we know that um, also the younger population might have the virus and, and spread the virus and not get sick. Mm -hmm. And so really right now our target population is the 18 to 24 year olds. Um, so when COVID hit, that was also the population that was predominantly um, testing positive. Mm -hmm. um, but And then now we have some vaccine hesitancy with that population, so oh. we want to make sure. Um, 18 through 24 um, year olds um, get vaccinated. It's very important. So that's why we're trying to be at every event we can think of. Yes. You know, um, and then um, hopefully the week of June 14th, the Black Hawk County Public Health will announce their incentives for vaccines, which I think are really cool incentives. Okay, I gotta hear them. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, you're gonna. You can't announce. I, I can't today. announce it oh, right okay. now, but uh, we will. So stay tuned. It's these awesome incentives that I myself would want, but I can't. So okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, and I hear that they're opening up, are having vaccine, vaccines in, you know, more unpredictable places. Like, I don't know, I think I heard the dollar store. <laughs> so I mean, we just, are just trying being where everywhere, people are. just being where people are. We were trying fr Farmer's Market, just okay. anywhere we want to be Good there um, because I think that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. Yes, so do not hesitate. Please get your vaccination. You can feel bulletproof. I'm telling you, when I got that shot in the arm, I know. you couldn't tell me nothing. Me too. I went to high V with no mask on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who knew I could do that? <laughs> okay. And we have comments. Yes. Speaking of your vaccine, Joyce Ann Wilder has a comment and, and a question. She says she's had her shot, and so she wants to know what her grace period is to get her other one. Yes, yeah, so it's um, so the the wherever she had gotten her shot, she should have been notified when her second dose um, will be. Um, but usually, it's about three weeks apart. So she would need to contact the uh, place that where she's received her first dose. Right, three weeks apart. And uh, Joyce, we got a shout out to you. Keep on continuing in prayer and uh, posting your success and sometimes when you're not feeling so good we love to hear that too so we can be encouraging you yes. because sometimes we need encouragement absolutely yes absolutely. indeed we love you joyce and i can't wait until it's time to come and visit so mm -hmm. we'll be there soon all right okay yep kent 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 now yes. that things have begun to open up a little bit more or whatever. Um, I know you've been, uh, the, the Waterloo Center for the Arts has been looking forward to putting it out there about the great things that are happening. So please share yes. with us mm -hmm. some of the. Absolutely, and we have been open uh, for our exhibits and so forth, but the certain aspects of our operations, we had to uh, kind of remain shuttered for a while. And as we already mentioned, 
We're so excited to have kids back in the Phelps Youth Pavilion. Yes. Again, masks are required and some limited hours and so forth, but the kids are enjoying that. And, and, and not just our facility, but uh, the Crowd Imaginarium mm -hmm. opened this week as well. Yes. Um, the so, splash pad, because my grandchildren were going, and is it open? The splash pad <gasps> the is splash open. Pad is wow. open. And we have perfect weather for that, do we wow. not? Oh, it's gonna yes. be a great weekend. They're going to need yes. that splash pad this weekend. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we've got lots of fun things for our kids in the community to be doing. Um, and uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to have those things uh, available. Mm -hmm. And not just... Uh, you know, for kids, we've got uh, <laughs> lots of great outdoor summer activities. It's oh, just yeah, summer yes. is the theme today. Yes. Um, Waterloo, Waterloo Municipal Band uh, <gasps> presents free outdoor concerts at the amphitheater mm -hmm. every single Thursday in June and July. Oh, wow. And they started last night. So uh, if people can come out for that. Um, we already mentioned every Saturday, um, we have the Waterloo Urban Farmers Market oh, um, out yes. at the Expo right. Plaza. And um, as Dr. Nafisa mentioned, mm -hmm. um, they're giving vaccines out there. So yes. you can get your produce <laughs> wow. okay. and Bye. get your vaccine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, let's see. Um, River Loop Rhythms, our free concerts by the river, yes. um, are oh, up and running. In fact, tonight we have Riley, an Irish band, oh, and that's wow. uh, sponsored by uh, Iowa Irish Fest. And um, we'll be doing vaccines there as yes. well. So oh my goodness. I, I say you can come get out. Get your and, groove on, get your vaccine, <laughs> get your apples and your oranges and your collard greens, and get your vaccine. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Well, collards aren't in season, but. <laughs> Soon enough. Soon enough. Soon enough. Um, we've got cinema on the cedar. Last year we That's had to do drive-in movies, which yeah. was kind of fun, but we're excited to be back by the river mm -hmm. um, with our, our, our movie program. And we have a great slate of, of, of films coming up, including some pretty new releases from Disney Pixar. So mm -hmm. some things awesome. I haven't seen yet, so I'm looking really? forward to that. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, my Waterloo Days is coming up next week. Mm -hmm. Yes. And wow. so many fun events associated with that. Um, at the amphitheater, we'll be hosting um, a movie next Thursday. And then uh, on next Saturday, uh, will be the, the symphony orchestra at Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony Orchestra will be performing. And so, yeah, there's yeah. just no shortage of things to do. So, um, you know, I roll my eyes when people say there's nothing to do Thank in Waterloo. Thank you. <laughs> Me too. I After roll the my year eyes. we had last year, all of these great things, you all, we deserve them, yes. okay? And yes. so let's be sure to get out there and enjoy and support. So, yeah. Right. And we're going to be. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. We're going to be having um, some new city council people. When you spoke of the Waterloo Symphony Orchestra, I know John Childs is going to be on our show coming up soon. And Chiquita Loveless mm -hmm. are both running for city council positions. So, uh -huh. so much good stuff happening, I'm yes. telling you. You yeah. just need to watch us. That's what we're here for, to tell you about all the good things. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you hear enough about the bad. And so we got one more thing. Did you know that it's a national holiday? And I'm announcing it. <laughs> Mayor Quentin Hart's birthday. I believe it's, I'm not even going to say the date, but it's this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sixth. The whole weekend celebration, yes. Right. And, and uh, tonight they're going to be at Ari's, mm -hmm. the martini place, mm -hmm. and then Anton's Garden right there by Ari's. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a great time uh, to celebrate and tell your mayor what a good job he's doing. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to be at the uh, new Absalom Lounge. Absalom Lounge. Yes. That's um, on East 4th. That's and it's right. in, isn't that the limestone? It used to be um, the limestone lounge. I think that's where sure. it is. So, anyway. Go the musical there. guest. Musical guest, yes. Kevin Bird. Kevin Bird. Right. Big love. Hello. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Big Love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kevin Bird. So. Hopefully, maybe we can make it there tomorrow, and we'll see you there, hopefully, mm -hmm. as yes. well. Well, I think we've come to the time where Nafisa, Dr. Uh. Nafisa gets to sing, me, 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 me. <laughs> we've got a She's bumper playing. crop of birthdays to announce. Exactly. Yes. So many birthdays. Somebody better sing and sing loud. If you can't sing good, sing loud. There okay. you go. Okay. All right. All right. Who do we have for birthdays? You can help read them, too. Mm -hmm. How about you start, Kent, right here? Robin Bruce Turner. Yes. W. Ray Richardson. Yes. Andrea Erdman, happy birthday to you. Yes. 
Uh, Patricia Johnson is celebrating a birthday. And? Um, Adanya Asata Shakur. Yes. yes. Helen Helen. Um, Nia Winter. Yes. Ty Rossick. Jesus Gonzalez. Shane Sellers. Hey, Shane. Steve Shove. Percy Bruce. Okay, yep. Okay. Barb Culpepper Shield. Clifford Blackwell. Hey, cuz. <laughs> Carolyn <laughs> Dorr. Eli hey, Nascimento. Jesse Henderson. All right. Wendy Knapp Bowman. All right. And bringing up the rear here Dante Watson, Daryl Center, Joe Parker. Quentin Hart. Quentin Hart. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Honorable Mayor Quentin Hart. Kevin Emily, the wrestler, and of course Dave Getman. Tara Thomas is Tara Getman. I think she's a Getman now. She mm -hmm. changed. Yes. Her husband. And congratulations. Happy birthday wishes to you and your daughter. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna sing a song for all the birthday people. And we like to sing the Stevie Wonder version. And it goes something like this. I'm sure you would agree. It couldn't fit more perfectly. Had to have the world party. <laughs> On the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. People on sound great. I know they did. They did, and I like thank that. You, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, hey, that she was double time. She was clipping and clapping. <laughs> clipping right. and clapping. That's what I like about you. You're so lively. Uh, all right. <laughs> and okay. pretty and nice. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. And yeah. you as well, Kent. Thank you. And Thank introducing you. a new word in our vocabulary, mm -hmm. nibbling. That's a niece or a nephew that is non-binary. Non -binary. Right. So there you go. You learned it right here on North End Update. And we didn't have wine today, but we're going to toast anyway. That's right. To our viewers, <laughs> yes. we want to continue to tell you to keep doing more of what makes you awesome. Like Kent. And like Dr. Nafisa, Thank right? You. you know why? Because it, it makes, makes us, us all look, look good. good. See you next time. All right. Clink. <laughs>